Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Carry on searching. Carry on searching. Carry on searching. I found an amazing ring. There's an inscription engraved on it. Emily, when I see that ring, I can no longer hold back my feelings for you. Oh, stop it. You're being ridiculous. What do you mean? I was just about to get down on one knee. Carry on searching. Carry on searching. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? The truth is, I really don't have the slightest idea. But I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily, have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead. Ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh. So that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borschert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? Al Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating, but just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? My mother came here to find out who Von Burchard planned on selling the book to. And did she find out? I have no idea, but I think she thought it would be someone invited to Mortimer's next party. You mean, one of us here now? That's what I think. It wouldn't be you, by any chance. Unfortunately, no. I was planning to steal it myself. Thank you for all this information, Louis. Right, enough chatting. Come and join me instead. I have to go, Louis. I don't want anyone finding me here in the morning. You're right. Well, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing.
Good evening, Monsieur Le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind, although you would have everything to gain by it. There's no point trying to persuade me. Don't hold it against me. Of course not, silly. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? Of course, Emily. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us, before it's too late. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Well, I should imagine you're still shaken. I promise to shed light on my mother's circumstances as soon as possible. There's not much to shed light on. What your mother did is inexcusable. She won the trust of my sister in order to more easily betray her. She didn't do anything to her. I... Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. E Emily? Emily? Are you there? <sighs> Typical. There she goes again. What's with this habit of hers of taking off in the middle of the night? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. <laughs> Emily? Can I come in? I... No. It's not a good time. <laughs> not right now. Leave me alone. I can tell from your voice that there's something wrong. Let me in. We have to talk, Emily. I said no, goddamn you. You know full well that getting yourself worked up like this is not going to help. It won't make any difference. It won't bring Emma back. Forget... I couldn't give a damn if it makes any difference. I only want to not think of anything. And then get out of here. I told you not to come in. Emily, I only want to talk. I understand that you're upset after everything... You that... understand? <laughs> you understand nothing. Listen. We're going through a difficult time. Even I'm dumbfounded Dumb and I... Dumbfounded? Dumbfounded? Do you want to know how I feel? Yes, I would like to. My whole life has just gone up in smoke. Everything I believed in, gone. Blown apart. I have killed a part of myself. Yes, I, I know how you feel. No, I don't think so. I found out that my mother has been lying to me all my life. That she's not my real mother. I told her to go far, far away. Why, Louis? 
What have we done to deserve this? I don't think that's the question. We haven't done anything. Only made choices for which we must accept responsibility. And what if I no longer have the strength to do so? But you do. It's just too early for you to feel it. But believe me, we've all lost something here. All this, everything that's happened, it's a nightmare. I want to wake up. Emily, calm down and put down that glass. I know you're telling the truth about Mortimer and home. I know they are demons. That's not all. Go on. I'm one of them, Emily. I'm a demon too. I know. But, but how? Sir Gregory stopped by to tell me. I... He wanted to bid me a welcome. I don't understand. Welcome to the family. Uh, uh, you? You're his daughter? Mortimer's daughter, Louis. That makes you my sister? Yes. Just the thought of the night when I suggested that we... I feel so ashamed, Louis. And that means Emma is your sister too. Spent the night with my own sister? I was attracted to you from the moment we first spoke on the boat. Now I understand why. Do you realize what that means? I'm a monster. And I am one as well. When I think of my feelings for you, I... Ah, oh, that feeling, it hurts all of a sudden. <sighs> you! You too. I love you, Louis. I can't bear it. It hurts so terribly. I... I don't know what to say. I... I think it's gonna take time. I have a sister. It's... it's very strange for me too. A sister for a brother. Yes. Yes. I must get some rest. I must ask you to leave me now. All right, but don't finish that bottle. Don't start now. I would like to get some sleep. I'll be leaving you then. I thank you, Emily. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. We need to not be advisable before we proceed on this subject. We have to talk. I was just wondering. Uh, oh, what's she smiling for? Right. I shall begin. It's going to be an awful lot for you to take in on just one day. But I must tell you that I'm a demon too. Excuse me? I know that you are too. Gregory told me everything during my convalescence. And that isn't all. I'm also Mortimer's daughter. You understand what that means, I hope. I, uh... That's right. I am a demon too. And I am your sister. And we also slept together. But don't be too hard on yourself. It's a bit unnatural when you think about it, but um, then you couldn't know. This way, at least, everything stays in the family. It's for the best. It mustn't prevent us from living out our affair in the open, however. Our affair? Have you lost your mind? I'm far too soft on you. I'll let you have everything, of course. So don't be nasty, if you don't mind. She's not all there. It's... it's plain to see. Yes. True, it's... it's been a long day. Yes. You ought to get some rest. You can sleep there. You know that, right? Although, thinking about it, best remain discreet for the time being. We shall go see Father later and tell him everything. Of course he'll be disappointed because he bet it would be Emily, I think. Whoa. She is completely mad. But I think he will be proud of me when all is said and done. She's talking to herself. She can't even see me. He loves me. Oh, he loves me not. 
Yes, we'll have to tell father all about this. But I don't want to live on this island. It's too cold. There's no point in insisting anymore. I'm going, Emma. Yes, I'll see you later. La, 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 Louie. La, la, la. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? What, with the conference soon upon us? I, I would have thought that... You are absolutely right. I wanted to wait a bit before talking to you, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we shall do once we get back. How to arrange the house, prepare the rooms for the children. Yes, I want three, and the first one will be a boy. We shall call him Louis, like his father. Oh, man, this just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. It would almost be sad if she didn't entirely deserve it. She wanted to play and she lost. I'm not going to save her. Anyway, we'll have time to talk about it later. Regarding the conference, as we are going to vote against Mortimer's project, I thought you ought to warn Sir Gregory. No, wait. I'm sure he'll reserve you a prime seat at his side. No, you don't understand. What do you mean? Emma, I think it would be better if we sided with Father. I'm sure he'll be very grateful to us. Over my dead body. I will never side with him. He might be my progenitor, but I refuse to follow him. Listen, we're wasting our time. We are not going to vote for Mortimer. That's all there is to it. The man is sly. He has no scruples at all. And I refuse to pass on any of my credibility to him. Subject closed. Right. This is not going to be easy. What could possibly make her change her mind? Emma, marry me. You... What? What... What did you just say? Once all this is over, marry me. Your husband is old and he's at death's door. I know it's just a sham. Once he's gone, marry me. But... I thought you were so closed off towards me. I know. I can sometimes be surly and aloof, but please forgive me. Yes. Yes, you accept? Yes! I want to marry you! I can't get married without our father being there. I beg you to forgive all of his sins. Louis, it's... Madam, uh, Emma, please. Give him another chance. I'm certain he'll take it. What are you suggesting? I don't know. Vote for his project at the conference, for example. It will show he can count on you and that we're all a real family. United. Louis, I... It's a lot to ask. I know. All right. You'll vote for his project? Yes. If it can bring us together, I'll do it. And he will give me his arm to walk up the aisle. Thank you, madam. I'll run along and tell father. I'll meet you later. Yes. See you later, my love. Damn it. What have I got myself into now? Emma, I really think that if we follow Father, we'll be able to do even bigger projects. Imagine you, me, our children, and Father, brought together by a common goal. I... our children. Yes, our children. Don't you want children? Yes. Yes, of course I do. I didn't know you had even contemplated it, to be honest. I want our children to know their grandfather. You can understand that, can't you? Yes, yes, of course I can. Even though it pains me, I must admit your dream is highly commendable. Louis, I am touched. I didn't really think you believed in us. Seriously, what insight. Forgive me. I know I can come across as being a little abrupt at times, but rest assured that my intentions are sincere. Louis, that's wonderful. We are going to be so happy. <sighs> what on earth am I getting myself into here? As a sign of reconciliation, might you vote for Father's project at the conference? All right, Louis. He will have my vote. Perfect. You have to excuse me. I have some things to take care of. 
The preparations for the conference are terribly time-consuming and... Of course. Off you go, my love. I shall think about where we should set up home. I want a pretty estate where our children can grow up in complete safety, surrounded by the delights of nature. Good. Please do, madam. I'll be going 